Hey friends, hey Mind Wanderers. Thank you all for joining me. Hope you're enjoying my channel. This is for all of you. You, you, and you in the nosebleed seats. My name is Sam Led. I'm a trauma coach, author, and life strategist based out of beautiful Santa Barbara, California, here to be a service for all of you. And I wanna to talk to you today about two ways you can change the way you look at things, things that are difficult right now for you in your life. Maybe some of you are suffering a major loss. Maybe some of you are dealing with a major hardship, financial, health-wise, and you're feeling anxious and depressed and feeling overwhelmed. And your thoughts, the gobbledygook between your ears is just overpowering. So this is for you if you are feeling overwhelmed in your life right now. And I, I come to this channel and um, my work was really an evolution of sorts from the two major life tragedy, tragedies that um, I survived. A legal situation that tested my resilience, my family's resilience, and my ability to survive despite the major obstacles in front of me. And the second one was a major, major divorce. And I'm still here today being of service to all of you. So before we dive into those two major ways you can change the way you look at things, I want to first talk about your brain, your mind. Your brain has between 70 and 90,000 thoughts a day. Those thoughts are artifacts from your own neural wiring, from past stuff, past trauma, past negative stuff, and positive stuff in your life. And they form these neural connections that you follow. Odds are, out of those 90,000 thoughts, 70 to 90,000 thoughts, 90% of those thoughts you have every single day. Those same thoughts you have every single day. And if you are feeling overwhelmed, stuck, and you cannot get out of your own way in whatever area of your life, we need to shift those thoughts around we need to untangle those thoughts from those patterns, those behavioral patterns that you have subscribed to. Because if you wake up on the same side of the bed every morning, you go to the bathroom at the same time in the same way every morning, you make a cup of coffee on, with the same mug and you take the same route to work every day and you fraternize and, and have the same conversations with your coworkers and they're unraveling their emotional baggage on you and, and you're connecting with them. And it's the same thing every day, how you expect to move forward and to untangle yourself from your current obstacles. It's impossible. So this is for you. The first way you can change the way you look at things so you can un start to untangle these patterns is to literally change your routine. If you sleep on the, if you're not married and you're single and you live alone, if you sleep on the right side of the bed, sleep on the left side of the bed. If you go to bed at the same time every night, go to bed either earlier or later. Change it up a little bit. These are little things that you can do. If you spend two hours a night watching Netflix or watching TV after work, read a book instead. Pick up the phone, call a friend, go volunteer for an hour or two. Change your routine up. The most important thing is change your furniture. Change, move your furniture around. Do that every six months or so. If you take the same route to work, change your route to work. Unless there's construction or there's an accident, you can't do that. We have all these great technologies you can use like Waze and Google Maps to figure out another route to work. You need to trick your brain and change that neural wiring and mix it up a little bit. These little things will help you get out of your own way. If you have the same, if you make your dinner in the same way every night, do something different, eat earlier, eat later, change something up. That's number one. Number two, to change the way you can look at your current situation is, one, how am I looking at my current obstacles? Am I looking at my situation from a negative and emotional charge? Am I looking at my situation from feelings of 
emptiness, feelings of, of sadness, feelings of, of regret or any negative emotion. If I'm looking at my current situation from any kind of negative slant, you'll never get out of your situation. If you're feeling like a victim, if, you're feel, if you have that victim mentality, change it. Be your own solutionist. Be your own change agent. So instead of looking at your current situation, your current obstacles from a negative slant, what positive ways, what lessons can you glean from this situation? Whether it's financial, or you're in debt, or you're dealing with child support, or whatever it is, you can't make a car payment. If you're looking at it from a sense of lack, from a sense of, of negativity, and it's understandable that you would, but it's not getting you anywhere. It's time to shift your focus away from the negativity and, and that toxic gobbledygook that's keeping you stuck in your situation. That's the second one. So again, two ways of changing the way you're looking at your current situation is by one, changing your neurochemistry, changing your, your routine around to make it different. Our brain loves routine. Our brain loves familiarity. When we get out of our comfort zone, even if it's taking a new route to work, even if it's going out with friends on a Tuesday night instead of going out on Friday night and having that same drink on a Friday night or a glass of wine with a friend, you change these little things and I guarantee you, you'll start to see new things happening for you. Even if it seems subtle, even if it seems hopeless, you can do it one step at a time Change little things, go, change your little, I can't speak today, I really can't. Change your routines and change the way you're looking at your obstacles. Be your own solutionist and don't give up. Have a great week everybody, hope this has been helpful. Take care.